What's up everyone? <clears throat> Alright, so uh, I've decided I'm going to do a quick, simple video on easel and uh, going to make something that um, isn't necessarily guitar building. However, uh, they come in super useful while building your guitars. Uh, I'm going to just show you real quick on how to make a simple parts dish. Now, these don't have to necessarily be guitar parts, they can be anything. I mean, you can throw your keys on them, you can put them at the, you know, right at your entryway, your door, front door entryway, throw your keys, throw your change, throw your wallet, set it next to your bed, put whatever in it. Um, but, yeah, I'm going to show you just real quick. It's super simple, and uh, they're actually kind of cool. Like I said, I use mine all the time, and uh, I actually sell these so if you would like to check them out i've got a link in the description below for them um the one that i'm making is already bought so can't have that one but you can definitely have others that i have available so we're going to jump right into it and yeah here we go okay so here we go first thing we got to do is we got to make one side flat um because of that round <clears throat> not being uh, perfectly flat we're just gonna make a simple flat square just so that we can run a flat use a, a larger bit and what I like to do is I'm gonna start in the center of the uh, the, the round or the, the cookie or the round slice so I'm gonna start at zero zero and it's just going to cut a big square um, just so that we know it's it's all flat ready to go so that's part one we'll go ahead and run that um, and we're actually only going to take it about 0.1 off the top just taking a real thin layer right off the top so that you're not really taking a whole lot of material off but you're at least getting it completely flat and then what you'll do is you'll flip it over and do the same thing on the other side so that both sides are parallel to flat they're even they're ready to go so next part like I said this is such a simple easy project to do it literally takes minutes to design if you can even call it designing we'll come up here we'll grab a circle we're gonna cut this thing to six inches and we want it to cut outside the shape path we're gonna come over here and we're actually gonna use a larger bit because it is a lot faster to hug out more material so now that we have this guy we're gonna do another circle this one we're gonna take to five inches and then we're gonna select both hit this guy hit this guy and basically that's our dish right there We'll end up uh, taking this guy and making sure that the outside cuts all the way through, which you know we'll have to put in the correct uh, dimensions of our material. Uh, so that way it cuts all the way through. Now we're going to use uh, the tape and super glue method, so we don't really need the tabs. This one on the inside, I want to leave about a quarter inch of a material on the bottom so it has a nice flat bottom. And then from there, simple as grabbing both, coming over to shape, zero and zero because we're going to start right in the center of our material again. And now I know in the preview it doesn't look like it's going to cut out the whole thing. It does though. But that's really it. I 
it's that simple to get it cut out. Now there's a little bit more work you have to do after it's cut out, but we'll get into that. But that's it right there. That's the design process. <clears throat> okay, so went ahead and leveled off the uh, wood cookie that I had. Um, it was like an East Indian rosewood wood cookie. Same as what I used for this guy. Um, I really like that this one has some of the sapwood in it. It looks really awesome. So we're gonna, get, gonna go ahead and do the same thing with this one. Um, I've got it already on the CNC. You saw it was a super simple process, just a couple circles, couple measurements. Now I do need to re-measure because I have made some changes um, to the size of it because I uh, did that flattening pass. Um, I didn't get any recording of the actual flattening pass, but as you saw, it was super simple. Um, I did, uh, you'll notice on my, on my cookie when I show you here in a second that I had to cut the ends off because uh, I wasn't thinking uh, correctly. So uh, instead of 11 inches, I programmed that for, as you saw, to only be 9 inches for a flattening pass. Should have been 11 to get the whole thing. But it's not a big deal because uh, the dish itself is going to be a lot less than 9 inches. So let's jump in and I'll show you where we're at. We'll take a couple quick uh, measurements to um, re-enter into the computer and All go right. from there. Go ahead and right, grab so the calipers out. real quick. Taking some quick measurements here. All right, so we're looking good. We're ready to go ahead and lower our bit down onto it and get this thing cut out and hard. Alright, so there we go, all cut out, but as you can see, these edges are still kind of squared off. Don't really like that. I need to round them over. I uh, need to sand the inside. I need to sand the outside, get it all smooth, ready to go. But in order to round these edges over, I'm going to have to break out my storable router table thing that I made. Uh, if you haven't seen that video, go back and check it out. Um, so yeah, I'm going to get that set up and I will be back to round these edges over and get this thing looking super awesome. Check it out. So now it's just a matter of sitting back with the dish, some sandpaper, and getting it all nice and smooth.
think we got her. She just needs a quick coat of finish and it'll be all ready to go. But before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and wipe this all down with uh, some mineral spirits. Get all the dust kind of off. And then we'll be ready right, for the There we finish. go, guys. So let's get all finished up. Looks super nice. I, uh, I'm really happy with this one and how it came out. It's got some nice contrasting colors in it. It's got a nice sheen to it. Great little part stitch. Super simple to do. Uh, the sanding, you know, I kind of go a little above and beyond with it. Uh, you don't have to go that hard. You don't have to round over the edges. If it's just something that you're going to be chucking parts into, guitar parts or whatever, you don't have to do all that. But, uh... This one might not be used for parts. This one might be used for something else. Something uh, a lot nicer than old guitar parts. So, made it a little bit nicer. Made it a uh, smooth, nice feel to it. And it's a good size. This is, uh, like I said, about 6 inches. So, let me know what you guys think. Um, if you like this kind of stuff, leave me a comment in the uh, section down below. And uh, give me a thumbs up. We'll see you guys next time. Till then, keep building, keep having fun.